Hi, my name's Narelle Janeway. I'm a brevet sergeant. I've been working at the Major Crash Investigation Unit now for four years. This particular crash was involving a, a vehicle and a motorbike. As with most crashes that involve motorbikes, it's the motorcyclist that died. At the collision scene, we have various jobs that we have to do. And one of those is looking through property to uh, determine who that motorcycle rider is. I distinctly recall this day, it was a beautiful day, it was nice and warm, it was a country road, it was very quiet, and here I am looking through the personal property of, of a person that's just passed away. I open a bag, I see a sandwich that's perfectly wrapped, I see a set of keys that has a family photo on the key ring, and at that point I think, this isn't a body laying on the road, this isn't just another motorcyclist, this is someone's father, this is someone's husband. This is a man that's going to work today to provide for his family and all that's been taken away from him in a split second. So again, it's, it's a bigger picture. It's not just a person on the road. It's not just a statistic that we see in the media. This is someone's dad. He was about to be the father for a second time with another child, another son, and that's all taken from him. And there's now a wife that is having to bring up two children by herself. After our investigation of the collision, what became apparent to us is the motorcycle rider was on the correct side of the road. He was, had his headlights on. It was just becoming light. It was dusk in the, the morning when he was on his way to work. And it was a vehicle that was overtaking a truck that caused the head-on collision with this motorcyclist. The, the vehicle driver and the passenger were fine. They, did, they didn't receive any physical injuries as a result of this collision. It was the motorcyclist that passed away as a result of the crash. So due to no fault of his own, he's going to work and all of a sudden he's involved in this head-on collision and doesn't complete his journey. This particular crash has stayed with me for quite some time that I would like you all to know about and to think about and if it helps when you're driving to think about decisions that you make, please listen to what I have to say.